Well, welcome to Dow's Weekly Digest. Well, the month of August, folks, can kind of be a, a roller coaster a little bit. Ups and, and downs, but hey, that's, that's life in itself. Right now, if you'd say, how many years have you been married, Dow? I'd say, we're working on 51 years. 51 years, folks, that's, that's a long time. Another up is my nephew, Alex. He's been married now, him and Alicia, uh, four years. So congratulations to uh, Dr. Alex. How about some downs? Well, I mentioned that wedding. We were gonna go to that wedding and we were all ready to board. And guess what, folks? One of our passports was too old. We actually came back that back to our, our, our home the very same day. We and then had to tell the family in Panama that we weren't going to be there. We, and we were going to see so many more relatives because of that. So that was kind of a, a downer in, in the month of August. Uh, another downer on the month of August for, uh, for me, our family, uh, Sergeant Major Bartling, he passed away in the month of, of August. And I'll be darned, years later, of course, but seven days from his death, then my adopted mother, Doris, the teacher, she passed away. So both of them in the, in the month of August. But it's a roller coaster. And ups, hey, our president, founder of Financial Markets, it's his birthday in the month of August, along with his bride. So it's up and down. It's, it's, uh, it's life there. The word for today is going to be clarity. Clarity. At the end of our last uh, week's session, I used the Bible story of the Midnight Visitor. And I used, then as I, I shared with you and read from the Bible, I used the King James Version. But also, folks, we talked about that formula of what? Know your audience and keep it surprisingly simple. I got a comment on the King James Version itself that that isn't necessarily the most simplest, uh, surprisingly simplest uh, verses that there are. Well, the clarity of using that Bible last week would be this, folks. There there's a, was a word there, and I'm probably not saying it fully right, but it's an idea. An idea means shameless, without shame. And some of the uh, translations of this word was uh, persistence. And that had just a whole 180 degrees difference on what the intent of the story was. I was using the King James Version for a form of clarity. But you know what? I didn't explain to knowing your audience why I was using the King James Version. So there's, that brought forth what? The word for this week being clarity. Okay, clarity. A little add to that is the story of the older gentleman who got a pair of hearing aids. And he's talking to the friend at the cafe that morning. He says, ah, I got these new hearing aids. He says, you know what? This one was $5,000. This one over here is $5,000. He says, they're top of the line hearing aids. And the guy's listening a little bit. He's kind of stirring the spoon, sugar in the, in the coffee. And he kind of looks up to him and he says, well, what kind of? He says, what? He says, what kind is it? He says, oh, it's about 1030. Not very clear, folks. Not very clear. Let's do a little cowboy wisdom. Cowboy wisdom. Now, typically, cowboy wisdom has kind of got a little uh, tongue-in-cheek, kind of a funny little saying. Everything. But this one kind of hit the home a little bit. It says, every horse deserves to be taken care of by a little girl. Cowboy wisdom. Every horse deserves to be taken care of by a little girl. And there's an organization that we get involved with called the Rainbow Bible Ranch out here. And they have a lot of little, little girls that indeed really take care of those horses. Take care of those horses. You might be a Lutheran if the front pew is always empty. That front row, there's nobody there. But the back row, there can be people already there 
and a family of six will come in and they'll get in the back row. So you might be a Lutheran if your church is that way. The front pew is, is totally open. South Dakota trivia. What is the state sport? The state bird is the ringneck pheasant. What is the state sport here in South Dakota? It's rodeo. Rodeo is the declared state sport. Trivia. What does the Bible say about clarity then? Okay. Well, let's look here at Matthew 5.37. Jesus says this for clarity. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Period. Get to it. Keep it simple. So clarity, lack of understanding. My one recollection, I got a recollection here, folks, personally was this. As I had shared with you in the past, I lived on the uh, Indian Reservation in Northeast Nebraska, Macy, Nebraska. And uh, the U.S. government uh, saw fit to it that they thought that they could make everyone's life better there on the reservation by bringing in the Army Corps of Engineers, and they're going to put in a whole new sewer system. Folks, they were there months upon months upon months, and you, the big machines and everything else that they uh, had, they went ahead and did it. Well, then the actual uh, system that would then process the sewage, folks, they built it on top of the ground. It was supposed to go underground. Underground, so all the sewage system was was coming, and then they decided they were the pumps were supposed to what pump it up above the ground. This is northeast Nebraska; it gets a little cold, folks. Rather than below the ground, I would ride horses in that. It'd be weeds and all kinds of things. It was just a folly. That millions of dollars there, probably, and it was what someone had not clarified, had a clear understanding that this system was supposed to go under the ground. That was my personal observation of, uh, of, uh, of clarity, a clear understanding. Here's another little maybe example or object lesson. I like to use those for then uh, uh, clarity. And let me share this with you. Okay, so I have a book here, and maybe this book would, to some, it would say, well, what's it a book of? Well, maybe it's a polar bear at the North Pole, a close-up picture of it, because if I look at it, they all seem to be kind of the same picture. Okay? But no, as maybe you work with, say, an internal wholesaler, and you're asked, seeing more on the need and everything, you start to then see a little more detail, a little more clarification. As we work with you more and look at the resources on maybe what particular company might help with that need, then it really brings to light. It brings to color, doesn't it? What the need is for your client. Clarity, a clear understanding. And what that takes is what? Sometimes Q and A's to, to do such a thing. Be sure to contact our magician. That would be our internal wholesaler. Just a quick little object lesson of, of clarity. Well, we have a carrier that, in my viewpoint, they have an emphasis on clarity and the use of their resources. This is good old American General, AIG. One, they have an excellent resource and they use him. His gentleman's name is Joe Ross. Ask our internal wholesaler to send you some of the videos of Joe Ross. He gets right down to the, the, the basics, and I won't hold it against him that it's an Iowa Hawkeye. That's okay. But uh, he does an excellent job on whatever his task may be. In fact, contact your internal wholesaler, because we're going to have Joe Ross on a Zoom exclusively with us on September the 14th. Ask your internal wholesalers for more details on that. And of course, we'll get them to you, but be sure to ask them about that. Well worth your time, folks, to, to listen to, to Joe there. But Joe understands, for example, when you say this, this word here, clarity, that even it matters of the different generations. 
from the baby boomers to millennials, you name it, you'd have to, to clarify it for them. You need to communicate maybe different for them and approach it maybe differently. American General has got the resources to help you with generational matters. Contact your internal wholesaler for more details on that. But that's an example of, of that there, okay? Some other real quick examples that I've got here, okay? This was in, is entitled, How Do You Pay for Something You Haven't Planned For? A nice one-pager infographics that speaks on different needs for the client and brings up different things, such as, <clears throat> It brings up like an average cost for a roof is from five to fourteen thousand dollars. We just I just got my roof looked at last night. It's going to be closer to that fourteen thousand dollars mark, and of course the deductibles go up. But very very uh, clear, so they can have a clear understanding of that particular need there. This one keeps it very simple. Life insurance a big expense. And they give then information in regards to that a, a people will think that it's too costly. But yet, some of the younger people can buy, you know, $250,000, a 20-year term, for $160 a year. But clarity there. Our internal wholesaler has this resource here that helps you answer the question. How much life insurance do they need? determining the right amount. And it goes into different sections of what? Taking care of debt, uh, income replacement, education, things of this sort in a very simplistic way there. So, indeed, I do think that American General AIG in their divide and con conquer on different uh, resources that they have are able then to help you get a clear understanding of the need that your client will have there. These resources I just showed you here, they are the tip of the iceberg. Our internal wholesalers has a big array to show you. And folks, they are, and they have been historically, one of the big stakeholders of LIAM, Life Insurance Awareness Month. This happens just around the corner in the month of September. But they are already getting resources available on their website. <clears throat> they go to the other resource, that being called Life Happens, and they work with them, and they are able to use it on their own website, which then is available to you by uh, just asking our internal wholesaler for, for help. But they have complete packages, how to communicate the importance of life insurance. And they have all these different steps that can be taken. They really do become involved with this Life Insurance Awareness Month. You'll see some national ads on TV, radio, uh, you name it. And they are, again, one of the key players um, of this. So we're, timing couldn't be better for you to contact your internal wholesaler and say, tell me what information AIG has so far on the L-I-A-M and then they'll be sure to get that to you there. Well, we turned the corner now, we're ready for some recommendations. And I said, what? The word of the day was clarity, okay? A clear understanding, maybe the lack thereof, okay? Poem, the poem was by one of my favorite uh, poets, Shel Silverstein, good old ball-headed Shel. His is entitled, Don't Tell Me. So the poem is, Don't Tell Me by Shel Silverstein. The song happened in, uh, God, I sound like Casey Kasem. 1979, the song was called Escape. And it was, uh, the, the singer was uh, Rupert Holmes. When the folks would hear it and ask for the radio stations to play it again, over and over, they did not, Ask for the name of the song, and the name of the song was Escape. They said, please play that Pina Colada song. If you like Pina Coladas, the story of the one that he put in, that 
was finally what they had to name that song. They didn't have the clarity or the clear understanding that their audience wouldn't ask for it on the, word, the name Escape. They, the, the hook that they used in the song was what? If you like pina coladas. And that's what the audience would ask for. So they changed the, they changed the name. So that was the, the song. The movie is Knives Out, a very recent movie. And one of the stars is uh, Anna D. Armas. It's kind of like on the uh, motive of uh, the old movie called Clue or the uh, Murder on the Orient Express, that y the clarity is that you think that maybe this person committed this murder that took place. But all the way through, as they bring in a detective, then you're getting clues on what you, who you think the murderer is. And then there's a twist. The clarity comes forth right at the end, and you're able to see, oh, I can see why, then that person would, would be the, the murderer. So it is Knives Out. Okay. I don't have a book to show you because guess what? I got this book on Kindle. It came out in 2018, but it is called Clarity First. Imagine this. You're driving down the highway, and all of a sudden you are in a downpour. And you know what? Then you realize you don't have any windshield wipers. It is not clear two feet ahead of you. You know, folks, some people run companies that way. They don't have a clear understanding on where they're going and neither do the passengers in there with them. Clarity first. And the author's name is Karen Martin. It's very much a, a book that I would highly recommend. Well, how about my power phrase for clarity? It comes from Mr. Ben Feldman and it is this. Life insurance is the only tool that takes pennies and guarantees dollars. Life insurance is the only tool that takes pennies and guarantees dollars, folks. Clarity, a clear understanding. This is what you're buying. This is what you are providing. This is what our internal wholesalers are able to help you with. Pennies for dollars. And the video comes from AIG American General. And there's a phrase, what, out of the mouths of babes, you're gonna hear some young ones here talk, folks, about their parents a little bit. In fact, if you would ask your children or your grandchildren, hey, what do I do? What does grandpa do? And listen to what they do, and ask them a little more questions as they, as they uh, ex expand upon it. Well, this is a little bit kind of in that, in that vein a little bit, but out of the mouth of babes. I liked it. It's, it's not that long, but it, it's, a, it, it, it's a cute one. And that's what my daddy does. Good job, Michael. Okay, Lindsay, now tell the class what your mommy does. My mom has superpowers. It's like she can see the future. What? Are you serious? She helps other people see the future, too. It's like she time travels in a rocket ship. <laughs> That's cool. And then she comes back saying, try this or try that. <laughs> she helps everyone, like mommies and grandpas and grandmas. She helps them feel less worried. Sometimes they hug her, and one time someone even cried before, but happy cry. <laughs> wow. Mommy, so what is it that you do? I'm a financial advisor. She is. <laughs> AIG proudly supports all the professionals taking care of our financial futures. So yes, yes indeed, folks. Listen to those young ones and the enthusiasm that they show. I think they know GP for you is G. GP for you is G. And just as that mom could proudly look into that camera and know what she does, 
And they said, what do you do? She says, I'm a financial advisor. That's what? Blessed are they, folks, who ease the pain of misfortune, for they shall be called insurance agents. You take care.